morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Talk Training Web Series. Today, I'll be demonstrating our latest feature, that is the IT Help Desk, which is powered by Doc, right? So we have a ticketing system that's within SharePoint. This was the most frequently requested feature by our customers, so we thought, you know, what, what, why can't we just include it within our Doc offering? So here I am to show you a demo of our ticketing solution, which is very straightforward, easy to use, and I'm pretty sure you know it's easier for the users to pick it up easily and get started. So this is the landing page or the dashboard for your tickets. That's basically your open tickets. Um, that's been shown on this dashboard where you have the tickets. You have a place where you can add the new tickets, right? Um, and you can also filter the type of the tickets, like if it's your own tickets, it shows up my tickets, and the ones oh, they are open tickets, it's gonna show up like that, and all tickets is gonna show all the tickets what's present in the system. You can also search for the type of the ticket just by just typing the name of the ticket, right? And you just hit on the search button and then it gets filtered based on the type of the ticket that you have created. So I'm gonna explain one by one. So here you see three tickets, right? So we have the title of the ticket. It's requested by this user and this ticket has been assigned to Alex, right? So that's one of the IT resource. You also have the requested date and the time. And you also have the due date you can also set up the priority levels like for urgent, low, normal, high, and these are customized based on your requirement, right? And also you can basically change the status right from the screen. You have resolved new in progress, reopen and closed, right? So I'm gonna click on the view more. That's the most exciting part where you can basically chat, use this as a comment section between these two users, right? They can log in and then they can, you know, just start putting their comments, whatever issues that they're facing with the IT issues that they're facing, they can put over here the comments, they can insert images as well, or if they wanna upload a video, that's very much possible. So it's a full-fledged, rich content goes along with this ticketing system, basically. So you can go ahead and just put in the message. And if you wanna tag someone, just type the name of the user that they just put over here. So they also get notified, so something like that. And just click on post and then the user get notified, he can come here and he can comment on whatever is happening over here. So basically another way of collaborating over here in the comment section. So that's about that. So here, if you click on the view more, you have the details over here, the name of the ticket, the description. Uh, again, you know, all this status is gonna be captured over here. And if you want, you can also add attachments related to this ticket. So I'm just gonna click on new ticket and show how it's gonna look like. So you click on new, just gonna put it. Right, so I'm just putting up a ticket and request a date as definitely this today. I have the time, I'm just gonna put it at. And can also put up a due date if I want, as early as possible, right? And set up the priority levels. Yeah, so urgent and uh, status is something for, for them to, for the IT to work on. Basically, status is new, and then I'm going to put my description. Something like that. I just click on save. And now I have a ticket created right over here. So here you go, this is the newly created ticket. All I need to do is, let's say I'm an IT person, I can just go ahead and type the name of the user, click on the tick button, and then that's it, it's good to go. Alex gets assigned with this ticket. And here I can change the status to in progress, right? It's very important. And voila, it's ready to go, simple. So it's just a matter of like three or four clicks and then everything is done. It's easiest to manage, as I mentioned. And here, this is the area where they start really commenting about the tickets. As you see here, see, I just selected Alex earlier and just clicked on the tick button and now it, this ticket has been assigned to Alex. And Alex can come down here and then 
start a conversation with the requester, right? That's Joe Joseph, and they can really work on this issue and close it as soon as possible. So that's it uh, for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, this is a very good feature that we have as a ticketing solution on top of SharePoint. So we'll be coming with more and more videos. So stay tuned. Have a great day.